uh, done against us. So I'm actually pretty excited because it's going on for a year and we're just tired of it. So he just lives right over there. So we might even run into him on our way to the police station. It's just been going on too long. Uh, he he started almost a year ago. Uh, aggressively attacking us online, and um, we ignored it for almost a year now. But it's just enough is enough. So. Even though we'll survive, no blade, free, free, decapitate. I hate her with amazing ease. This is not a game, boy. Don't play with me. I want. jurisdiction even though there's a police department that's right up the street but for some reason where we are enterprise is where we have to go we've been here before when our car was stolen I have all my documentation of all of the negative comments he put on our website and some of the Twitter comments although we had deleted some because it's been going on for years so we had deleted a lot of the posts that he had written unfortunately and we deleted the text messages but we have all the website and stuff with his IP address, so we thought he'd stop. And then yesterday he started up again, and he did about five comments yesterday on Twitter. Oh yeah, and he attacked um, about my uh, brother that had passed away, and then he also attacked me on the day that my mother had died, which he knew those because we had <laughs> talked to him about that, about the anniversary. Um, and so he decided to write about ten comments on my website. And one of them, he even pretended to be my mother-in-law. Didn't try to be my mother, he tried to be my mother-in-law. And said nasty stuff to me. On the day my mother had committed suicide. So, if that's, here, stop, stop, stop. If that's not harassment, then I don't know what is. Unfortunately, Twitter wouldn't take any action, so we have to go. Uh, it wouldn't even uh, take down his account. So I don't really know what's the point of reporting anything on Twitter. If that's not harassment, I don't know what is. So we're going to take it to the, the authorities. motherfucking ninja. They do recommend that on Twitter to go to the authorities, especially if you know who the person is. Usually you don't know who the person is. But we know. Fuck all you who said I wouldn't make it. Said I was a loser. Said I wasn't no one. They said I was a fucking psycho. But look at me now. All up on the winter web. Worldwide. 2019. Let's just see if stop. Because I don't really ninja. like having to go to the police for things. Or have to, you know, even I didn't want to attack him online. Um, but it hasn't stopped. And it did stop for like about a month. And we were like, oh, cool. And then yesterday it started up again because we ran into him in person. And then that got him all fired up again to like attack us. And yesterday he wrote like five nasty comments on our Twitter. We deleted those posts so that the comments come down. Um, but uh, I was like, you know what? And he starts attacking our business because like he wrote a ripoff report about our business, which that's like the second thing that you see if you search our website. So that really sucks because like if anyone is interested in hiring us, it looks like we're a ripoff. Uh, I mean, I hope that you read between the lines because he's kind of stupid and it says things like that we act like four-year-olds. It doesn't really seem like a legitimate like. Uh, off report it looks like someone that's just mean and vindictive which is what he is he's not even very good with grammar so all this stuff is kind of like looks like he's either retarded or drunk so and he, I think he's both so uh, I'm kind of excited though because it feels good to finally be able to do something because he's really disturbed me because I couldn't believe we were nice to him and we gave him food and we even gave him CBDs and some weed and uh, then we stopped talking to him because he's crazy, but I didn't expect it to go on a year of, hit, of hate towards us. And it actually really upsets me because I I don't, I'm not a hateful person and I get very upset when, I, when other people are hateful because it's such a like, it boggles my brain. Like why, why are people so hateful? And that's what upsets me. So it's kind of nice to probably be like, I don't know why, but I'm gonna get this resolved. So I just got back from the Southwest Police.
Police Department, and I did my police report against Joey Carenza, our neighbor. And it went really well. Um, there is now an open investigation for all of the harassment that he's done for us over the past, it's almost been a year. And they're going to look into it. Now, usually internet crime, they want you to go to the FBI and the uh, National White Collar Crime Center. There's an online site. Um, but since this was someone we knew and he lives in our complex, they are willing to open an investigation for us. Now, as long as Joey stops harassing us, I probably won't do the FBI investigation. But if he does continue to harass us, then I will go to the FBI for this. And they are the ones that generally um, deal with cyberbullying and cyber harassment. So if anyone is needing um, some help with that, here, I'll give you the site. It's www.ic3.gov. And that's for internet crime. So if anyone is having cyberbullying, cyber harassment, there's a site right there and you can actually fill out your complaint online. Now, if you know the person, then go to your local police department. And Joey, please leave us alone so we don't have to push this any further. Capitate, I hate her with amazing ease. This is not a game, boy. Don't play with me. I work my mug sober like a wild fucking savage from the dark side. Danger, yin to the yang. Totally high tech, ninja, mother of a big in Japan. I've seen the future, but I got nothing in my hands. Set the microphone, big dreams, and a plan. Fly, talking, skywalking like a ninja.